<laughs> Zlatko Skulgin. Weighing 156 pounds with a record of five wins and four losses. Fighting out of St. Charles MMA from O'Fallon, Missouri. It's Clayton Whaley. And across the cage, weighing 156 pounds with a record of seven wins and three losses. Fighting out of Hicks MMA from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. It's the Russian bear, Slatko Skolgin. When George Conley gets this fight started, coming out of the blue corner in the black trunks with the American flag, boxers is Clayton Whaley. And coming out of the red corner in the black and white trunks is Salatko Skolgin. Nice inside to head kick. Throwing the teep. I'm pretty sure Skolgin's going to be looking for the takedown. Yeah, the teeps are a good way to prevent that. You don't yeah. want to kick too much to the outside because you catch the kick on the. You throwing up. Oh, oh, look at Clayton's that. going for the takedown. Block those hands. Lift up a little bit. Press into him. Set him on his butt. Zlatko's really hard to take down. He's got great takedown defense. All them years of wrestling. Yeah. Nice little underneath punch. Oh, nice. Beautiful job. Yeah, just enough to keep him honest, to keep yeah. him looking. Let's see if Clayton can get his hands locked together on the back side. Now you'd want to, if, if you're getting stuck there, stuck on a double leg, you don't want to stay there too long because you will get hit. Yeah, you can start getting pieced up a little bit. You switch to a single leg. Yeah, exactly. Try to connect one hand on one leg. Now, because the head is there, you want to grab the other leg. <laughs> and there he goes for the single, exactly what you just said. He, he's going after the wrong single. single. He's going for the back. He, there we go, there. Oh, now, now you switch back to the Wherever your head is, grab the other side. Exactly. Because here the guillotine here the guillotine. Oh, the guillotine's in. It's, is it going to stay in? It's tight. It's, it's underneath the chin. It, it's an open guard, though. You might yeah. be able to jump one side and flip, but you've got the hooks in. I don't see why he didn't try to jump to that side, or at least tripod up to take the pressure off the neck. He, put if you, I mean, this is tough. If if Clayton Zaka don't, got he's got, he got that. Whoa, that was that was close. Yeah, yeah, I would have been nervous if I if I were uh, Clayton. Clayton's got his hands on the outside, which I don't like too much. He needs to keep them on the inside of Skulgin. Skulgin stone little rabbit punches, just to keep him honest like we were saying. Yes, 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 yes. I, he doesn't need a nickname. He no. could just be Skulgin. He could just be Skulgin. I, that's what he should do. He should just get rid of Zlatko and just, and just be Skulgin. He will be the share of MMA. Dang, man, that's pretty marketable too, right? I think it so, is. Skulgin. Badass Skulgin. shirts and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sick. So marketable. And then the next thing is he has to just never talk. Yeah. Just never just stand there. <laughs> Skulgin. Stone just cold. Say, yeah. Just say your name the whole – Skulgin. He could play that too. He could pull that off. I think so. Yeah, he could. Now, I'd like to see Clayton put Skulgin's head back into the cage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right now, Skulgin can shrimp a little bit, can move a little bit more. Oh, and that's the end of the round. That was quick. I tell you, if that happens in the second round, I wouldn't mind seeing George uh, Connolly stand them up on that. He, he really wasn't trying to improve his position or anything. He was just there holding. Control of the round, though. I mean, okay. he was. That wins fights, you, know, I mean. you hear the body, body, head, and the guy Clayton the, the win. Yeah, like Clayton I mean, won that round. He I did. Feel. He did. Even though he was in that guillotine for a bit. I like those striking. I like watching these guys strike. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, Skulgin. He's he's going to look for the takedown. He's going to get it. Yeah. Uh, but he's always never done a lot off his back. And, and so I've known that. I mean, he's really, really good when he's on top and he's in dominant control. But off his back, he kind of, he really doesn't go anywhere. And I felt like we talk about it all the time, as cliche as it sounds, losing, you know, a submission for position. And that's exactly what Skulgin did here. He yes. went for the submission and lost a good position that he had with the two underhooks. On that choke, I don't know if the choke was there. I would, it's like you said the last fight. 
never jump guard with a guillotine choke. If he pops his head out, you're going to be you're underneath. In, you're, the, yeah, exactly. Skoljan looks pissed off. He is ready for round two. He, he got out wrestled. Wrestlers don't like getting out wrestled. <laughs> right. See, I I wouldn't be surprised if there is an immediate takedown or an immediate shot at least. Get a little redemption. Oh, he's ready. He's coming out. Gotta like that pressure if he cut off the cage a little bit. Right, exactly. There we go, there we go, little circling. Little up kick there. That like, up kick is making him scared to shoot. I feel shoot. like Whaley is looking at his feet to try and get nice a question tape. mark kick. That's what I... Nice. Wow. I would keep throwing up the middle with them teep and up kicks. Just, yeah, keep him away from that takedown. Looks like he's got the reach, too. I'm going to throw that jab out there. Keep scolding at bay. Whaley definitely has the reach advantage tonight. And remember, in Kentucky as an amateur, you can see there he goes. Uh -huh. Outside kick. He, that's what shot. he was waiting on. It Beautiful time. So yeah. fast. He, he threw that it. Was, that was like a mosquito in the hot summertime. That's what he was what waiting strike. on the whole time. Oh, he's going to uh -huh. pin the arm. Uh oh. Wow. Uh, this is a bad spot for Clayton yep. Whaley. Clayton trying, it's hard to do in half guard, but try and, honestly, you know what I try and do is if you are Clayton, try and give up mount. Try and get Skulton to take mount. Right. It, it is a better position that close to the cage. It's hard to flip somebody from half guard. So he's in mount right now, and you can start using the cage a little more. Uh, Good. I like what Clayton's man. doing. Yeah. He's trying to use the cage. Go out the back door. Just got to watch out for the inverted triangle if he does go out the back door. Oh, man, oh, he's got all big shots. There's some ground upon. Oh, is it our triangle here? Triangle a little bit, controlling it. Let's see. Oh. If, oh. Let's see if he tries to posture up. And Skulljan will finish. Good, he's got that back control, starting to flatten him out, riding the back, surfing him a little bit. Clayton's looking to turn in, try to reverse this, the situation. Clayton's got to work them hands. That arm is underneath that chin almost. It's, it's under that chin now. It's over the chin. He's got to get it, two on one. He's going to start cranking. You start putting, I always call it cup to back. You try and put your cup through his back. And that makes the choke far worse. Man, that's not quite centered. So there's still some space for Clayton to breathe. But Clayton's got to start trying to get his butt over there right now. Get that butt over there. There you go. And now he's out of that choke for the most part. Starting too soon. You're yep. going to give up your back again. And Skoljan really could have used that to go into mount, but he's in a good situation here. Yeah. More time. He, he's working. He's working on the bit of a crank. Yeah. Just making him uncomfortable. I mean, we've seen some really good rear naked defenses tonight, man. Tonight is, that has been. I mean, it's been a key point, right? It has been. It's, it's been the flavor of tonight. Rear naked choke defense. Skoljan looked good in that round. The timing you know, of that takedown off that off the kick was really that good. Was perfect. Yeah, it was. It really was. And he's that dominant one. once he gets on top. Oh. That's why he's seven and three as an amateur, because he usually gets on top more than not. So Sam, if you're Clayton's corner. What are you telling him in between the second and third round, what he's got to do to come out and solidify this third round? No more outside kicks, everything up the middle, teeps, and if you get the shot to wrestle, wrestle him. It, it might be just come down to who's going to be the better wrestler this right, round. Right, right. Both of them have had no answers once put on their back, and so just be the guy that puts the other one on his back and hold him there. That's it. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I, I don't know if he's going to have the better wrestling pedigree, but those teep kicks were keeping Skulljan at, at bay. And um, they, they might be able to do enough this, this third round. No more outside kicks, though. Donnie Wallace has got Skoljan all hyped up going into the third round. Looks like he's got, you know, fire on, lit under him. He, he's ready to go. He seems more motivated going into the third than he did the second. Here we go. Good back and forth fight so far.
Donnie Wallace is calling for that jab, overhand right. Shot right off the bat, lock, yeah, he did. lock those hands under the butt. Oh. oh, now it's over the back. Now you start looking for the foot sweeps. Exactly. You start trying to pull a foot out, try and drop them on their backside. Knee up the middle, I'd worry more about the position over the, the uh oh. Get back up, get back up fast. He's, yeah, you he's gotta, gotta just start to stand up. Yeah, you gotta just, immediately start defending that shot. Get your elbow, switch to your knees, give up your back if you have to, as long as you, good, yep. now stand up. That outside hook doesn't matter if you know what you're doing on the inside. Exactly. Scold, oh, he's underneath the he's neck. He's under that neck. That now is tight, if he back. can fix his grip. Clayton has he's to throw underneath. himself to his left, try and get. He that is, he's, he's gonna go out. Oh, good job by Clayton, good job, hand defense. Clayton's got to turn belly up. Use the cage, use the floor, scrape him off. Turn belly up. Scolton's got to. He's got to switch his grip behind the behind the head. He should be able to get this. There, Clayton, I can't tell if it's Clayton's if it's trying underneath. to stand aside. Now, oh, there's a tap. No, he got the tap. Rear naked choke. First to let go. Scolton moves to eight and three in his amateur career over a tough Clayton Welly. Rear naked choke in the third round. Man, what a fight. Good fight. That's what he does. Yeah, he, That's he what did Scotia it well. does, man. He did it well. He, he blanketed him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I, I feel like Scotia needs to work, you know, in his guard off his back because he, he really didn't know what to do, it seemed like, whenever in the first round, whenever uh, Clayton had him. In his guard, he didn't know what to do. Yeah, he had, he had the one guillotine attempt, yeah. but he didn't close his guard with it. He, he wasn't quite performing it the way, way he probably should have. And I agree with Donnie Wallace. He was telling him to throw that jab in the Ladies overhand and right. Ladies gentlemen, and it was there. your winner by rear naked choke, one minute, seven seconds into round three. Out of the red corner, the Russian bear, Slatko Skolgin. He looked good. Eight and three as an amateur. That's 11 fights. I mean, he, and he's fighting tough guys. I mean, a lot of the guys he's already fought and has wins over.